one change after defeat at Celtic Park, playing Ian Ross from the start instead of Kevin Christie, who's on the bench. Celtic have three changes with Alan Stubbs, Martin Vickhorst and new signing Mark Reaper, replacing David Hanna, Malky Mackay and Phil O'Donnell. Well, Ian Ross can play despite being sent off in midweek. He was yellow carded twice, which under the new ruling means he'll miss a League Cup tie next season. Mark Reaper won his 48th cap for Denmark in midweek and it's hoped his experience will help sort out a Celtic defence which has been far from impressive. Formerly of Bronby, he signed yesterday from West Ham for £1.5 million. The referee is Mike McCurry from Glasgow. So a Celtic kick-off here at Fir Park, which is not a favourite venue. They've beaten Motherwell just twice in their last nine visits here. There have been four Motherwell wins and three drawn matches. But a lot of new players on display for Celtic. And Motherwell this afternoon uh, playing in the new lemon jerseys and uh, certainly, unlike Manchester United, uh, they can't make the excuse of not being able to see one another. So, an early free kick to Celtic and immediately the flag goes up. So, the Celtic allocation of tickets sold out for this match a number of days ago few empty seats in the Motherwell area. Well, right away, there's a problem for the new boy, but uh, the goalkeeper takes charge of the situation. Cross his touch lets him down. And the break really on here for Motherwell, getting plenty of players forward. So if I stubs up, and then come under pressure. This is Larson. Late challenge going in. Well, Greg Denham claimed he took the ball, but uh, he arrived a bit late, and uh, the referee's having a word with him. So, uh, Denham spoken to by the referee. Now the match can restart with the free kick. And a bit of a shocker. Coyle trying to get forward, oh, and there's a bad mistake right into the path of Tommy Coyne, and Motherwell will take the lead, a dreadful blunder by Alan Stubbs, with just three minutes gone, and Tommy Coyne, who missed a chance towards the end of the game in midweek, well, he gives the perfect answer, but it was dreadful defending by Alan Stubbs, who played the ball right into the path of the striker, we've seen in these early stages, that uh, both uh, Stubbs and Reaper were struggling a bit, but uh, really misread the situation right into the path of Coyne. And with three minutes gone, it's Motherwell 1, Celtic 0, Tommy Coyne scoring against his old club. Dreadful pass back, but good finish here by Coyne. He was upset the other night, he's made up for it this afternoon. The points are vital for Motherwell. who have struggled over the last couple of seasons. What a start for them. But, uh, what a start too for... Alan Stubbs. This is Weir. Me. To my mind. Here comes Andy Tom. He does well. A touch from Donnelly. That's lovely play. This is Larson. And the referee indicates a goal kick. Delightful play here by Simon Donnelly. Nice little touch through. And a good play by Larson as well. Right across the face of goal. This is Vikost. Right. Another sober there for Mickey Weir. Took that full in the face. Vikost. Donnelly. Nice touch to Larson again. Uh, Brian Martin. Uh, a bit of help there from Steve McMillan. Scrambled that away, but Celtic have the corner kick. But good linking play again. Nice touch by Simon Donnelly through to Larson. That's the second time we've seen that in this first half. So it's played shot uh, to Reggie Blinker. Well, a free header there for Craig Burley, which will not please Alec McLeish, the Motherwell manager. It's played through meanwhile by Tommy Coyne. There's Andreas Tom for Celtic. Donnelly. Celtic fighting hard now to get back into this game. It's Blinker. Tom. 
Ricks now for Larson. And again, it's right across the face of goal. Well, that's two chances he's had. And both he sent right across the face of goal. Were flames for a handball just a moment before that uh, against one of the Motherwell defenders, but uh, the ball had clearly played the player. Referee allowed uh, play to go on. And Larson sent it wide again. This is Mike. Throwing to Motherwell. Telling him to get on with it. Touch from Larson to Blinkert. Two now for Burley. Good challenge though by Willie Faulkner. Tom punches in that one. Two for Blinkert. Good play by Blinkert. And just inches away in the end, Stephen Woods threw himself at it. It was certainly hit by, with plenty of power. Good play by Andreas Tom. And Blinker, and just inches wide. It's a bit frantic and untidy at the moment, but uh, here's Larson. Good ball by him. Burnley lays it off. In comes Andreas Tom. Good challenge in the end by McMillan. Stephen McMillan got the vital touch. Andreas Tom was just about to pull the trigger. Burnley had a bit of space there, perhaps he'd have had a go himself, but uh, good defensive play by McMillan. Boyd, Donnelly. Well, Andreas Tom was caught, free kick is awarded, not far outside the penalty area, but uh, he's taken the sore one. Caught there by Greg Denham, and uh, Denham's been called over by the referee so Andy Tom is still on the ground as uh, the referee takes appropriate action and he shows a yellow card good challenge again by McMillan he's played well this afternoon he's played off by Coyne was is well challenged Ricks now for Weir. Nice little turn by him. This is Tommy Coyne. Uh, just too much for him to do in the end. Now it's Blinker. Through for Larson. Looking for Donnelly. Good first touch by Simon Donnelly. And just over the top. Well, he's shown some lovely touches in this first half. Simon Donnelly is having a fine season. It was played through by Larson. He took on the defender well. And then with the goalkeeper closing him down, just lifted it over the top. Good by Reaper for the throw. Two on the ball. Good off by Coyne. No defence is in trouble again here. And uh, Stubbs just gets it away at the last moment. Just five minutes of this first half left. Another will have the corner. A chance here to add to the lead. Split shot now to Coyle. Put it in by Weir. Way by Vikos. A touch by Tom. This is Larson. Let's have the fans claiming he was held. It was Eddie May who got it away. This is Martin. from Donnelly well you get the indication this is going to be a difficult afternoon for the referee and their uh, tempers frayed on both sides and certainly uh, McMillan going in there with both feet and the referee is holding him back he certainly went in with both feet there as uh, Larson went into the challenge. 
They played a minute of stoppage time. And the referee had a clear view of that. Yellow card. We're well into stoppage time. Celtic search for the equaliser. It's away by Faulkner. And again, the referee's having to keep a close watch on things. Motherwell are breaking now. This is Weir. Now it's Coyle. Coins in the middle. Ross is running in support. This is Ross. And Andy Tom it was who blocked it. Here's McMillan. Turns all the way by Burley. And the whistle sounds after a quite frantic first half here at Fir Park. There's no doubt that Motherwell have really looked up for this occasion. And it took them just three minutes to take the lead, but it was a dreadful mistake in defence by Alan Stubbs, who rolled the ball right into the path of Tommy Coyne. And he certainly punished Celtic. Celtic have had a couple of chances. An excellent shot by Blinker. Just past the left-hand post of Stephen Woods and then Simon Donnelly, clear through and goal, lifted the ball over the top. At Fort Park, the half-time score reads, Malibu 1, Celtic 0. So where we go for the second half and uh, Malibu have made a change. We brought on uh, Lee McCulloch. Uh, for uh, Valakari, McCulloch made 15 league appearances last season and a uh, young player with a goal threat so Motherwell really going for it in the early stages of the second half Ross away to the far side and Tommy Coyne a bit unfortunate and they're all just running for the goal kick that's Blinker for Celtic forward for Burley, a powerful run by him he was in at the start of this move, still it's Burley and the final ball, not a good one as he tried to pick out last. It's cleared by Ross. This is Coyle. Cleared by Reaper. Comes for the foul there against Ross. The referee allows play to continue, though. It's Simon Donnelly for Celtic. Boyd. Two now for Andy Tom. Larson's in the middle. There's Larson off the post. Donnelly from just a few yards out. An unbelievable miss. Well, it was a delightful touch. Initially, by Henrik Larsson, Andy Tom swung this one in. Larsson got a good touch on it, off the post, and then Simon Donnelly from about three yards out, sent it wide. Again, it's an indication that uh, Celtic need a real finisher. Here's Tommy Coyne. This is the ball through for Weir. The holding by Larson on McCulloch, it breaks for Martin. Faulkner challenges, stops clears, only as far as Ross. Charged down by Vikost. Challenges and it's Stefan May who gets it away. Another heart stopping moment for the Celtic fans. Good play there by Larson getting away from McCullough and Ross. Still Larson. Burley. And a recap up from him. Well, Larson will be disappointed after making good headway, holding off the challenges, sending it to Burley, but uh, it really was weak. To Coyle. Going backwards again. It's away by Boyd. And Denham slides in there on Larson. That's Andy Tom. 
That's a good ball through for Burley. Brian Martin got a foot in. It comes off the referee now. And uh, almost broke kindly for Blinker. Still Blinker has it. Well, Celtic really should have scored there. And it was just the foot of uh, Brian Martin in the end. Got it away. more urgency it's going to be again McMillan's with him good ball into the near post and Celtic get the equaliser it's Burnley who shows his delight and again excellent play by Larson and Burnley who had squandered an opportunity makes up for it excellent ball into the near post and it's one goal apiece here. Craig Burley gets his third goal. He's joining Celtic. Larson did well against McMillan. Terrific ball into the near post area. It's down there from Rupert to Stubbs. He's been pursued all the way by Coyne. Through now for Simon Donnelly. This is Andy Tom. Who looking for Larson? <laughs> this is Ross now for Malibu. We've got by Coyle. Ross again. Tommy Coyne's in the far side. Oh, superb goal! Tommy Coyne gets his second of the match. 59 minutes great cross superb finish and Jonathan Gould can't believe it Celtic vulnerable there great finish here by Tommy Coyne and uh, awards the free kick to Celtic. Well, Andy Tom's in a bit of space. There he is. And now for Larson. Ross is with him, so too is Denham. Claims for a penalty, but the referee indicates right away that uh, the defender took the ball and there's an, early, uh, an angry exchange there uh, between Larson and Denham. And Denham has already been cautioned this afternoon so he'll have to be extremely careful here they're squaring up to one another he's already been in trouble with the referee it's uh, certainly Larson the referee wants to talk to uh, Denham's over there as well so the referee's called him back over and this can mean only one thing Second yellow and a red. And for the second time in a few days, Mullerwell have reduced to ten men. The players reacted angrily towards one another as Celtic claimed a penalty kick. The challenge went in there. And then the players squared up to one another. But it was uh, Ross and Denham who were running back with Larson. And at that point there, the referee decided but uh, it was a yellow card for Larson and a second yellow for Denham and Denham has walked. <laughs> Defending not very convincing but Muller will get it away. This is Reaper. And Willie Faulkner in that deeper role. It's it clear. It's Tom Boyd. It's an easy one for uh, Martin. And it's uh, Coyne. Here's Stubbs. Good ball by Stubbs. Burley! Superb goal! 
76 minutes gone, it's two goals apiece. And Alan Stubbs makes amends, a very good pass through there to Burley, who buried it high into the net past Stephen Woods. The touch from Stubbs, and blasted into the roof of the net, an unstoppable shot by Craig Burley. So his second goal of the match makes it Motherwell 2, Celtic 2. Stubbs had done very well just before this in actual fact. He held off Tommy Coyne further upfield, moved forward, and then set up the goal for Burnley. Good through now by Boyd. This is Larson. Jackie McNamara's made a good run. Here he is. He's blocked there by Brian Martin. Ross is there also. McNamara does well to win it back. Good play by Jackie McNamara. And a good save by Stephen Woods. Splendid play by Celtic. And Jackie McNamara dug in really well here. Showed a bit of skill also. And brought out a good save from the goalkeeper. That breaks now for Owen Coyle. This is Ross playing it through. Well, Stubbs just got a touch in that. And just as well with uh, Tommy Coyne floating in the far side. Oh, the goalkeeper with a bit of trouble there, but managed to get it under control just in the nick of time because uh, Ian Ross was coming through here. The keeper at full stretch, Ross was coming through. And well, it's a free kick to Celtic. Burnley was impeded there by McCulloch. Swing in by Jackie McNamara, it's a good one! Simon Donnelly puts Celtic ahead! Another terrific goal! Simon Donnelly strikes again, his sixth goal of the season, and he did ever so well to get to this one. Jackie McNamara swung in the cross, just look at Donnelly here, the angle he was at, great finish. Mullable two, Celtic three. Jackie McNamara with the cross. And that was acrobatic stuff from Simon Donnelly, he scored some excellent goals this season. Celtic again through Simon Donnelly. Through by Burley. McNamara, it's a good one, and it's just beyond Larson. It was Willie Faulkner who got in there to get the touch. And again, it was McNamara, and that was taken just away from Henrik Larson. From Vikos back to Blinker. That's Larson. Oh, good change of pace by him and uh, cross away to the far side to uh, Blinker. Some trickery from Blinker. That's great play. Well, the chance was there for Alan Stubbs. Great play here by Blinker. Good skill. And teed it up for Alan Stubbs from about eight yards out. And over the top. Well, it certainly still leaves the door open for Motherwell. Well, the final minutes are ticking away. So Motherwell making another change. In comes Elifanis Shibuti, the Namibian, 22 years of age with 31 caps. He came on at Celtic Park the other night. So perhaps uh, he can Liven things up now for Motherwell. But, uh, time is running away from them. Played so well in the first half, but uh, there's no doubt the ordering off of uh, Denham was a big blow to them. Willie really Faulkner has uh, battled hard, uh, dropping back to that position, but uh, here comes Celtic again. Larson goes down, it's no penalties as the referee. It was Brian Martin who made the challenge, and Celtic now just seconds away from picking up three valuable points. Motherwell have won both are away games but uh, beaten twice at home the final whistle sounds a hard fought match and there's the Celtic hero this afternoon certainly one of them Craig Burley uh, with two goals in the second half and then Simon Donnelly with a superb header to tie it all up in the closing stages of the game it was Jackie McNamara who came on as a sub who swung in the ball and Donnelly did ever so well to get his head to it 
The final score here at Fir Park is Motherwell 2, Celtic 3. Yeah, just needed to get a win and uh, had to take the three points at this game really and after the results over the rest of the league going quite uh, quite our way so it's been a good three points for us. And two vital goals from yourself? Well the first one just near post, we really, just got a touch on it, all, all I needed to do was get a touch and uh, Woodsy got a hand to it but I managed to get it in. The second one I made a run into the box, Alan Stubbs laid me in and I just took it first time really and uh, never gave the keeper a chance to set his Maybe a little bit fortunate, I didn't quite connect the way I would have liked it. Losing Greg Denham was a bit of a blow, you know, it's, it was two lads in a face-off after a, a wee tussle. Kid stuff really, you know, and it's a man's game after all. We were disappointed that action should be taken, but anyway, the, the referees are under a lot of pressure just now, and soon we'll have a non-contact game. That's always nice when, when a, a team team has a, the ability to come back from, from being uh, behind. And I thought we fought very well, well today and, uh, and uh, easily deserved to